Yo, what's going on everybody? You haven't seen this ugly face in a little bit here now. I have some reasons why, and I'll actually explain it here in just a second. Yo. Hey, hey, Yeniverse and mining family. Grab your shovels and your pickaxes. Welcome to the show. I'm Nemesis, and of course, I'm not your babysitter. Do your own research, but let's dig in. Hey, mining family and crypto nation. What's going on? So, like I said, I had some reasons why I haven't been doing any real videos lately. So, if any of you have been paying attention to me doing live streams on decentralized TV, considering that typically, typically, my PC is better than a laptop, hands down. Except when it's having a temper tantrum. Temp. Oh, oh. That's what grinds my fans, my temps. I'm just saying. So, what ended up happening, guys, is uh, I've got this really, really nice. It's upside down and stuff. Really nice water block. Yo, check this out. So, as you can see, it's for the AMD with the uh, TR4. So, um, if anybody's familiar with that, that's the Threadripper uh, format. So, it's got a large die set on it. This die set is mammoth. So, here, let me check this out with you guys. So, this way you guys have a little idea. Let me actually pull this thing out. This thing is huge. So, I mean, if you can see, you know, GM ignition key, right? The same length here, you know, bam, you know? So just way you guys get an idea, this thing is mammoth. The CPU on this thing is pretty big. A little bigger than I actually was expecting it to be whenever I got it. And the thread rippers don't come with a cooling solution for them. So I went with a water cooled because I figured that AMD it's gonna throw some heat off. I'm okay with that. Um, so I went and had a radiator system, um, 140 millimeter fans, two of them optimized cooling it actually made my case very cool allowed me to mine on my graphics card in a quick case that actually had enough airflow in there that i didn't have to worry about my graphics card ever overheating either yo had its own like custom air fan system for for the gpu winning so unfortunately this thing didn't last six months now I mind a little bit on it. I'll, I, I'll admit it, not that much. This thing pretty much was just doing processes of running a server in the background. That's how it lived its life. It, it's doing it right now on the, I, I, I mean, you're like probably sitting here going, well, wait a minute, you got your cooler here, you're on your PC, how are you recording this? Well, this was a couple of days ago, so I, Went ahead and ordered off of Amazon a Noxual 120 millimeter air-cooled radiator. This way I always have a backup in case my liquid cool ever takes a dump on me again. Um, if, and if there's a better cooling solution for my Threadripper down the road after I've um, pretty much ROI'd on it a little bit. <laughs> Um, so, I've got to make, recoup the funds from making a behemoth that could do all my videoing, video stuff that I wanted to do with this, use it as a test rig for checking out graphics cards, how I can push them on this PC, overclocking them, all that good stuff, without ever seeing the upper echelon of its temperature limits, because I hate to see high temps. Some people will lean on it until they melt their cards. I've seen it on the internet. 
I'm not one of those. I like to kind of play with it. You know, you'll, you'll, you can, you can play with it, and you'll see it just start throttling itself, and you're like, ooh, that's too far, just a pinch. Let me turn it off now. Undo this. Back it off. We're good. I started having to like almost turn everything off of my PC when this thing started dying. Now it didn't make any noise until like a couple of days ago. I got off of work. Everything in my PC is staggering really bad, and I was like, oh my god, what is going on? So I've got uh, GPU-Z on one of my monitors here, sitting here monitoring my temperatures, and I'm sitting here running video right now at 54C, holding very nicely, and I'm running a ton of stuff on the PC right now. I've been kind of stress testing it, making sure there's no issues. I'm kind of thinking this was the issue the whole time. So if you guys have been following me at all on Decentralized TV also, my PC is usually the one we, that me and Mikkel use to do the live streams. But once I started having a cooling solution issue, of course, everything started taking a dump on me. So. Had to fix all that good stuff. Not a problem. So ordered up by Noxua. This thing is holding up pretty nicely. I'm running my server in the background as I'm cutting a video, guys. Holy cow, I have not been able to, this is like a, my brand new computer all over again. So I honestly think I might have been having an issue with this pump starting to slowly die probably a few months ago because I started noticing just like slowdown issues it wasn't huge so I think everything was starting to have an issue a while ago and it just kind of came to a head Eh, whatever hopefully they fix this the net whatever they send me back I hope is a better product than this one I hope this way I can review it and be like yo it fixed my problem I had it's been a year <clears throat> the only thing I should be doing on this thing is like re-thermal pasting this every once in a blue moon maybe a, every couple of years replacing a pump on it not six months and I, I get it I, I it's on all the time because it's running a server but it should handle that I'm not, I'm, the, the, the CPU isn't even overclocked. It's like, ugh, ugh, whatever, ugh. So, got it over, all done and said now, but yo, oh, guys. Oh, you know what, I, I'm like sitting here, I'm like half halfway ready for everything that I'm doing. Like I say, I, I, I do these things kind of one take wonders. Uh, so I usually have my ears in, or I try to, because, you, you know, it's like this way I know what's going on in my video and all that good stuff. But my wife picked up something amazing. Yo, so. Ho, 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 ho. Yo. Guys, we have an FPGA. Now, if you guys notice here, I've got motherboard risers. I have a motherboard riser here. Yeah, you're kind of adapting it just a little bit. So be prepared if you get one of the Black Miner F1 minis that you're gonna have to do small, itty bitty little adaptions. They're not bad. Um, and then I've got the little risers on here because it's just kind of sitting out in the open. I don't want it to be sitting on the circuit board. And what's kind of interesting about this is that it's got an ant miner um, control board on here. So this thing is super, super, super quiet. Now, I would sit there and show you guys the interface on this, but it shows too much personal information that I'm, it's just, by the time I block it all out, there's nothing for you guys to really see too much. So, if you guys ever need a 
hand setting it up because I've got it in front of me, I can help you guys set it up too. If you guys ever want a Black Miner F1 Mini. <clears throat> so these things have some pretty cool stuff. So it's like 50 to 60 watts. Not bad. Super, 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 super quiet. I'm actually quite amazed at how quiet this thing is. And, and I can actually show you here. Boom. Let me show you this. Boom. So if you see here, I've got a uh, server power supply, so it doesn't need to be hooked up into a motherboard at all, which is really nice uh, by Hewlett Packard. Super cheap. You can run this on 110 or 220. It's just a, a matter of what power supply cable you have. So I've got the, uh, one, uh, the 110 power cable in here because I've just got it hooked up to the wall out here. And if the, uh, my power supply came with um, six to eight pin, got the eight pin adapter on here. This only has a single six pin on here. And whenever you're putting this on here, kind of hold the clip and kind of open it up a little bit as you slide it on. Uh, don't want to put too much pressure on it and maybe even support the back side of the, if you see how I got my thumb, I'm supporting the back side of the plug. This way you're not flexing it on the board whenever you marry the two up. <clears throat> now I've already gone through and did a little bit of the, the experimenting with figuring out um, how to truly set this thing up and all that good stuff. And uh, what do I do with my... Oh, it fell on the floor. So I unplugged everything for a moment so that I could show all you people out here. So I can sit here. <clears throat> now, there's a couple of buttons up on here. One is like an IP mode finder uh, right next to the ethernet cord. I think one is an, a reset button of some sort. And then you have a power switch right next to the power cable. So whenever it came to me, it came to me with the power on the off position. So good thing, always a good thing, yes. So my power supply with its breakout board here has an on off switch on it so I can actually turn my power supply on and off separate from everything so I can go ahead to get some power boom so it shows how much the rails are all putting out so it should be 12 and a half volts on the rail and then from here you just flip the switch boom and the thing just comes right on a line Yo. <clears throat> and it's sitting right next to my mic now Typically my mining rigs, you'd be hearing the fans roaring right now with it sitting this close. But the fan speed is really low on this. As you see, it's like this this FPGA with the cooler they recommend is like mostly cooler. So it's definitely staying nice and cool. It doesn't take very long for this thing to actually boot up. Uh, let me go ahead and refresh my own screen here. And uh, Of course. Nope. Oh, come on. It's being a butt. Hmm. I wonder if I... Mm -hmm. OK. 
Okay, so this should be a bit. There we go. It just took it a minute to register back up. It's back up and running. All right. So I can show this aspect most certainly. So let's see here. And this one. Yeah. Bam. So this is on the Black Miner F1 screen. Now that I've got my place of where I've got everything I want. So now that I've got the F1 Mini actually rehashing away, um, considering I set everything up. So whenever you get one of these, you're just going to come right up onto their, the hash altcoins. And you're going to go into the download section. Bam. And depending on what crypto you want to support it's going to depend on which firmware now you can use any of these um, so what I'm on it just kind of use this one it's one of the ones that you can utilize a nice hash guys just to make it easy so if any of you are just using nice hash you can certainly connect this into your nice hash wallet and actually having it mine Lyra 2 Rev 3. How's that, guys? Yo! <clears throat> so, if anybody wants to ever get one of these, uh, let me know. Drop some comments in down below. Um, I might be able to hook you up with some um, potential. Um, potential. I, um, I don't know. I might be able to hook you up maybe in the future. Maybe. I'm trying to work out some deals. Uh, me and my home dog, Crypto Mikel. So we are definitely trying to, um, you know, do some really cool stuff into the background for all of you guys. Uh, they were talking about how this is pretty cheap for right now. And it actually is. I, I will give them that. So maybe they might give us an affiliate link, maybe. Um, if they do, I'll try to hook you guys up. We're trying to work on it. No promises, but definitely if you wanted to, let's say you just had APC and you're like, well, I, I really can't use one of these. It sounds interesting. But if you have a PC, like I said, this is the, the cable that it's us utilizing. Here, let me show it again. This cable here is the same kind of cable you would use to power up a video card. So that little six to eight pin connector that you can use in your graphics card, you can use in this bad boy and have it mining away. And you can have it sitting off to the side of your PC running. And all you have to do is just make sure that the PC stays on. Maybe you're already mining nice hash. If you're if you're uh, not and you're interested in it, I have links. Uh, I'll, I'll post some links in down below, most certainly. And um, for anybody who wants to try to start up with Nice Hash, very easy one too. And I will also post links to uh, Kudo Miner, just in case anybody is looking to try uh, something else other than Nice Hash. You know, it's some some interesting stuff. Um, it's one of my affiliate links, so if you're, you know, if you choose to mine, dude, it helps me out a little bit. You know, I, don't, I have no idea how the calculation really works, but if you go on to Kudo Miner and you sign up, I think you get like 10,000 free Satoshis. I like free Satoshis. Do you like free Satoshis? Yo, if you like free Satoshis, definitely smash that lizardy like button. While you're smashing that lizardy like button, guys, definitely subscribe share these videos with everybody yo that helps me out in the long run 
and it helps me spread the knowledge of that busy Bitcoin. So, <clears throat> I hope you guys, for anybody who's been following me for a while, I hope you understand that my PC was wonking out on me horribly, horribly. I couldn't cut quality videos. It looks so bad. I just couldn't do it. Um, so, until I was able to figure out that it was my cooler dying a very slow and miserable, painful death on my PC, now I can do everything that I was normally doing. Yes! So, hope you all enjoyed the video. If you guys got any questions about the Black Miner F1 Mini, certainly post some comments and questions in down below, guys. And I hope to see you all on the next one. Yo! Peace!